A co-worker would kick my lunch seat across the room every day at lunch and I got him back. For lunch a group of my co-workers, our foreman, and myself would sit and each lunch in the foreman's little hut every day. My seat was an empty lidded five-gallon bucket and every day as I was getting ready to sit one co-worker would kick it across the room before I had a chance to sit down. Everyone found it hilarious. It was funny the first couple times but it got old. So one day I thought it would be hilarious to cut the bottom of the bucket off and then fill it with nuts and bolts and put the lid back on. That day at lunch we go in he tries to kick the bucket, of course it goes nowhere and he angrily picks it up and tosses the bucket across the room. And of course as he picks the bucket up all the nuts and bolts go spilling out of the bottom. It was hilarious and everyone in the hut was laughing. I had brought in a camping chair pulled it out and sat down and said, damn man looks like you have a mess clean up. Thought for sure you were gonna go the cement route, but this might be even better. I was expecting the bucket to be filled with concrete and shatter his foot. Good for you, he sounds insufferable lol. He's a grown sbuy. I don't understand why people just won't grow up. I'm glad you got him. Face with tears of joy. You put some real forethought and time into that petty revenge. I hope he stopped kicking your seat away. You thought it would be hilarious, and by God it was. Perfectly sweet revenge. That's nuts. Did he pick them up or bolt? Was he mad or did he find it funny? Your co-workers thought it was hilarious every single time? Single-digit IQs, I guess. Glad you got revenge and even better he hurt himself. Hopefully he stops entirely. What the hell was his problem with you? Did he ever do this to anyone else or were you his only victim of this hilarity? Also, well played. Dude needs therapy or something. Jeez. I would have loved to see your co-worker's face when that happened the shock, the fear, the what the hell just happened. He made like the worst tactical error you can make as a prankster bully. This is what happens when you choose to be both infuriating and predictable. Kudos congratulations Blackheart hash Blackheart hash. Brother, that was pure poetry. Thumbs up sign. He sounds like an immature a-hole. Had a co-worker at Toys R Us that did something similar. You would put your lunch bag down where you intended to sit and this sob would move your lunch somewhere else, well we had these hard plastic bucket type chairs so one day I filled my seat with water. Well he did what he normally does sits down and jumps up mad. Oh well. Please tell us he hurt his toe. Rig his seat to a string so it can be secretly moved right before he sits down. You are literally that Jason Momoa gif loudly crying face. Gif gify 13 Captain IW 9 BGZK 6 UVYR downsized. Good for you. I was getting ahead of myself reading hilarious to cut the bottom off and fill it with concrete lol mangled toes. Still, spending a break cleaning up, way better. I thought you were gonna say he broke his toe or something when he kicked the bucket filled with metal screws. That would have been sweeter. Dude, yes. That is so awesome. The fact you took out a camping chair makes this even more of a classic. Your co-worker is telling you he likes you, likes you he just got stuck in fifth grade. That's one kick the bucket. Amazing revenge. I thought you were gonna just keep heading towards sitting and then say you were out on WC for six weeks and cost the double his job. Nice. Did a similar thing once, with an esky part filled with three 4D8 long bridge bolts and when my taunter grabbed it his arm near came off. Typical big baby who's a bully that never had enough attention from his family as a kid. You got him good, well deserved. Even better, because every nut and bolt he picks up, will be another time he thinks about how much he hates you ha 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 rolling on the floor laughing. Ha 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 ha. Watch out. Now it's revenge time for him.
Oh yeah, make the bully seem stupid. Watch your lunch, your vehicle and work environment. Now it's personal. CYA. O'Doyle rules. Well served, well served indeed. I hope he stopped his behavior after that. What a child. Nice but half the ending is missing did he learn his lesson? How was he cleaning up? Another way you could have gotten revenge when he kicks the bucket away, you try to sit there and fall on your ass and hurt yourself. Have them call an ambulance. Depending where you live, file a claim for any type of workers' compensation or whatever you can, to cover your medical bills and lost wages. Maybe sue him too. See how funny everyone thinks that is. Please tell me he actually picked it up lol. He got nutted and bolted. Clean up aisle 6. Brilliant good for you. Wow. That person would have been fired from my workplace at the very first incident. Of course we're civilized enough to have actual furniture like chairs and stuff. But anything that's even close to the threshold of workplace violence, they'd be fired. The scene you describe would likely have the place evacuated, police would be notified, and very serious people would make a very big deal about how that shit just plain doesn't fly. My only question is. Why did you cut the bottom off the bucket instead of removing the lid and putting the nuts and bolts inside? Thinking face. Beautiful. Should have filled it with concrete, have him kick it then. I find it odd when people repeatedly do stupid stuff and repeatedly find it funny. Is this an example of a one-track mind? Yuzo handed your co-worker smiling face with sunglasses. Perfect I applaud you. That's actually genius, but why was he even doing it in the first place? You have a mess cleanup. You're everyone's hero. I absolutely love this. Kick the bucket. I remember what my grandfather said just before he kicked the bucket hey see that bucket over there? I'm going to kick it. That wasn't even petty that was beautiful lol. Your solution was perfect. Well played. Great slapback. Oh I thought you were gonna put something heavy in there and have him break his toe and then since he can't walk around, he loses his since this action wasn't while doing work can't even get workers comp. Hilarious. Owned face with tears of joy 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 face with tears of joy. Tears of joy. I would have filled it with concrete. But I'm mean. If the revenge is totally hilarious does it count as petty? And then everyone started clapping. OP won the Nobel Peace Prize and became the first person on Pluto. You should have kicked his chair after that. Chop chop clapping hand sign clapping hand sign. F. This makes no sense. If you cut the bottom of the bucket off, then kicking the bucket should have been easy, not difficult. And when he picked it up, the nuts and bolts should have remained resting in a pile on the floor. Need more info.